You know, we kind of hung in there a little bit. I think it was, what, 24-7 at the half. I thought Corey Strader's interception return for a touchdown kind of really turned the game, I thought. Kind of gave us some some life. And, uh, you know, we came up with three turnovers on defense, I think, if I remember right, in the second half, which was which was big. And I thought our offense really started to move the football. And, uh, you know, finally make some big plays in the passing game. And, uh, you know, Josh uh, Peterson had some big catches. You know, I know Xavier Brown had a big one down there. Jonathan Hodo had a really big one in the corner. And um, just battle back. But at the end of the day, um, we talked about it last night at the team meeting. You know, told the players the goal was is to battle and get to the second half and the fourth quarter and have a chance to win the game. And we did. So, you know, we really did what we set out to do. We just came up a point short. So, questions? A lot of credit to Josh Johnson, too. Another big game for him. Down 24-7 half. When you go into halftime, how do you keep the team motivated to come back out? Yeah, we just told them to keep battling. And uh, we felt like in the first half, we just didn't execute offensively. You know, we dropped some balls and, you know, stuff that were kind of uncharacteristic. What we do, um, got a couple plays wrong, you know, from the signal to the signaling in and stuff. Just really, really out of character. And then defensively, we just couldn't get them off the field on third down. That was a big thing. But... Just told them to keep battling and get out there and play and, you know, keep keep playing as hard as you can play. And uh, like I said, I thought Schroeder's interception, you know, kind of that made it a 10-point game and kind of, you know, gave us a little little jolt there. And then uh, we got the strip, got it, went down and scored. Now it's 24-21. And it's, you know, now it's a new ball game. And, uh, you know, I give Florida State credit. I mean, uh, you know, they uh, we went up four, you know, and kicked the ball. And they got to go 75 yards to score, and they did. Give our kids credit. We go down and get a field goal. So it was back and forth. I thought both teams played hard. And, uh, you know, it just came up a little short. Coach Caleb got off to a rocky start. I think he started 0 for 7. But really in that second half, he played with so much confidence and poise and did a good job distributing the football. Yeah, I thought so. I just, like I said, I thought early in the game we were out of rhythm. Uh, you know, we had a few drops in there and stuff that would have extended some drives. And, uh, it was frustrating because you know they were in a rhythm on offense, and we needed we needed to sustain sustain some drives and you know get them off the field a little bit, kind of like what Boise did last week, kept them off the field, and that's what we needed to do. And you know we were dropping some balls and we weren't getting enough first downs, and then they were just in that rhythm. But like I said, I thought the pick six kind of changed you know some things for us, and uh, you know give our kids credit, we kept battling. You know certainly uh, 20, uh, 21 to nothing for. At the end of the first quarter, I think what the first second play of the second quarter is twenty one nothing and uh, you know, in this kind of environment, you know, here we are, you know, take it to overtime. So you mentioned the takeaways briefly. You had preached that in preseason about getting more of those. Not only did you get them tonight, but your offense cashed in. Yeah, we did. Uh, I remember three in the second half and uh, you know, we got two picks and then we got a strip there on one of them and stuff and uh, and all of them led to points. So that was no doubt, that was huge. Thanks, guys. All right.